think about how AI and humans can work together in order for you to combine the ultimate combo to grow without breaking the bank. And that's probably gonna stay like that for a very, 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 very long time. Will AI replace salespeople for MSPs, IT support companies, tech companies? This is what I have time to discuss today and I'll be very upfront with you. In my eyes, I believe that this is a lot of rubbish. There's no way people will be replaced by artificial intelligence because I believe that people still buy from people. We're still social animals. Whether you're introverted or extroverted, we still need humans to function, we still need to build rapport with individuals in order to get to the sale. Topic one is AI and predictive analytics. Nowadays, it's true that we need to leverage that data. We need the, the email marketing automations, which have MailChimp that will give you data. Does my niche help me obtain the results I want? Do my ICP idea client profile has good open rates, has good click rates, has good, well, has good like bounce rates, or rather not good, but you see what I mean, right? Is it responsive to my messaging? That is the kind of data that will help you make decisions. But then in order to make those decisions, yes, you can automate them to some extent, but you still need emotions. You still need someone, an expert to conduct conversations, especially if the sales cycle is longer than just a day or just more complex, more sophisticated than just like, hey, do you want to buy my product? I believe that even though you've got a sequence and touch points that may be very elaborated, you will still at the end need someone who's got the knowledge, who's got the expertise to make sure that the sale happens. And a salesperson is a wonderful consultant for that. Also, what's happening is that we'll be able to see more serve service products, right, that are generated by AI, right? AI buyer tool, AI automation demo to buy you have little to no engagement with vendors and you get to understand pretty much what was happening now but to a greater extent in the few coming months and years right all that is fine and what you want to really understand is that is, is is your customer are your prospects will they be willing from a human standpoint to make a purchase of like four or five figures just by having a, a demo right advice from AI, right? It's something that uh, would be very different, but I don't see it happening. And even if you've got like a potential prospect who's looking up online and he wants a, a managed service provider that uh, has the ability to check whether you've got the right antiviruses, check whether that you've got the right firewalls, check that you're protected that all time from, let's say, DDoS attacks, it will uh, require, to some extent, again, human input in order to make you feel that you're protected. That is common sense to me. You may do a lot of research regarding this, but who is there to support your thread of thought? Who is there to advise you as to whether the research you're doing is right and is on track? It would not make sense to gamble and receive information from a robot you believe could leave you with lasting peace. And ultimately, I think the same applies with the chatbots or automated queries, right? Um, they are tools at the moment that are matching keywords. It works well to some extent for basic inquiries. Now, as this get more and more complex, would, they, would the prospect feel like confident that we can handle their business, that we can take charge of their IT infrastructure? Well, that is a question that um, you know a lot of prospects need to think about and also MSPs, right? So again, at the end of the day, it's pretty unrealistic that the human input will be forever annihilated. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that whether you're using a Ninja One, whether you're using a sales builder, whether you're using a tip campaign and all those super tools that can definitely support you, it's very unlikely that the human touch will disappear. So make sure that you have in your vision that human element. You need people to sell. You need people to grow your accounts. And that's probably gonna stay like that for a very, 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 very long time, right? So just make sure that when you set 
your sales department, right? That you've got the right individuals, don't give in pressure selling whereby you're just throwing money at something and expecting results in a short amount of time from your staff member. It just doesn't work like that. You want to work from more organic standpoint. Just be wary of the envelopes that you prepare for your directors and for your business development managers that may be astronomically high. That does not contribute to generally your growth. Think about organic growth. Think about keeping things simple. Think about how AI and humans can work together in order for you to combine the ultimate combo to grow without breaking the bank.